Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from one of our YouTube subscribers. Let's solve this one. To send your own questions, please consider subscribing our channel. All right, the analysis of this problem looks something like this. We're going to divide the number line, i.e. the domains, into uh, four sections. I'm going to set each one of them equal to zero. I have x equal to three minus one and two. Here I have them number lined over here with the arrows. This is called a, we'll call it a stress point. Once I divide the section number line into four sections, I picked some sample points where I can test, say if each one of the terms is positive or negative. It's a little tedious, but it's not hard. So here are the four points I'm going to test them on, and I'll go through each one of terms if it's positive or negative. And the uh, number of the negative terms will determine a, when x is in this range, whether the whole thing multiplied is going to be positive or not. All right, let's write this up. All right, so here's the solution. I'm setting each one of them equal to zero, and that gives me three minus one and two are the stress points. And I'm going to put a number line uh, where the stress points are. Now notice though, this one is not a hollow point because of the equal sign. So they're actually inclusive of those points, the stress points. Now the number line is divided into four chunks. Uh, the red ones are the sample points. So I'm going to evaluate the sample points into three of those terms, determine the sign of each one of the terms. For example, minus two, when you plug it in here, the first term is negative. Negative. second term is negative as well third term is 2 minus minus 2 that's positive term so this chunk have minus minus plus minus times minus is positive ten times another positive term this whole thing is actually bigger than zero that fits my requirement now duplicate the same procedure for the next three segments we can see there's only two segments that would work the first one and the middle one over here using the interval notation we have minus infinity inclusive of minus one and inclusive two and three that's going to be the solution to this inequality over here well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.